Oh my god, so it's the turning of summer. It's the turning of summer in the summer solstice, which is a couple days ago. And it's getting just really nice in Southern California. Like when it gets hot enough to where you can feel the heat coming up out of the ground. I mean, not as hot as I like it, but it's definitely hot. And you, but you can see how, how dry everything is. <clears throat> anyway, meantime, I just had a couple of things in my mind and they were pretty funny. And not funny, but like some of them were funny. But just some things that I don't necessarily need the computer for that I wanted to talk about as possible Mandela effects. And I think some of them have been addressed before, but not from me. Not from yours truly with your own special gensplatory take on everything under the sun and back. Well, okay. Not that I'm that special, but whatever. <sighs> I just, you know, wanted to talk about these things. So anyway, one thing I've been thinking about a lot, because during the summer I go to the Hollywood Bowl a lot, is the grass. And, oh my god, listen. It's the bugs. It's those bugs that I love so much that let you know it's summer. Speak of the devil. I wasn't even talking about them and I didn't even expect them. Okay, well now they're gone. Anyway, so the Hollywood Bowl. I used to work customer service for the Hollywood Bowl. Like I would call, like I would sell tickets and people would always call in and they would want to say, <clears throat> they would want to be like, oh, we're the grass seats. I want to sit in the grass, the Hollywood Bowl. And I would always have to tell them, we never had grass seats never at all in a million years and they're like really I could swear I came there and there was grass now I used to think you know before I knew of the Mandela effect I used to think well people get it confused with other, with other outdoor venues like Tanglewood and all kinds of different places but it's pretty strange because some people really insist that they have been to the bowl before and they have been seated on grass and the Hollywood Bowl has been in operation since the 1920s. And surprise, surprise, we've never had grass. Like if somebody had told me that we had had grass at the Hollywood Bowl before we put in all the benches, then I would believe it. But we've never had grass. So that's really interesting. Another kind of interesting but not as happy thing as I want to mention is that, um, I don't know, one thing I've been thinking about a lot lately is colds. Colds, you say? It's summertime. Why are you talking about colds? But I've been, you know, it's been weird because <clears throat> I was in a play a couple weeks ago and theaters can be kind of dusty. So I would go to rehearsal and I would sit in the theater and I guess, I guess you have to get acclimated to the theater again because once I got used to it, I stopped coughing. But I'd be sitting in the theater and I'd be sitting there coughing and coughing and coughing and I thought, damn, I must be getting a cold. But the thing of it is, is I've noticed within the past few years, especially since maybe 2014 or 2013, I think the fall of 2014 was when everyone was paranoid about the whole Ebola thing. And I remember it distinctly because that was my week off from work and the Ebola thing had hit the news so hard. And while I knew that a lot of it was fear, had a big fear tactic about it and while I knew that a lot of it was bogus and bullshit and all this other stuff it's still one of those things that you kind of get a little paranoid about especially when there's all this news running in your ears so I made so certain not to touch anything and just to wash my hands all the time and somehow I ended up getting this really bad cough and I'd gone out the night before with my friend Aaron and we went to the Me Mexican restaurant for drinks and we went to this bar where there ended up being dancing girls, but they weren't naked dancing girls, they were just dancing. And I went because I wanted to see them do all their acrobatic stuff. I was all, I just, it's aesthetically pleasing to me. So that was really fun. And then the next day, we both got these horrible coughs, which turned into colds. But here's the thing, back in my day, here I am acting like an old woman. Back in my day, we didn't get colds that way. I'm acting like the grumpy old man from Saturday Night Live. Back in my day, we didn't get colds that way. We got them by getting a sore throat first. And we didn't start coughing till we, you know, were supposed to express the mucus. But you don't express the mucus right away because it sits there first. Like the way that I used to get colds, it would sit there 
And then eventually, when the cold started breaking up, you would start coughing. You wouldn't start coughing right away. But now, these last few years, <clears throat> whenever I've gotten a cold, well, I think I've only knock on wood gotten a cold twice since 2014. But <clears throat> whenever I've gotten a cold, <laughs> I'm starting to cough now. Whenever I've gotten a cold, I've started to, I've started with a cough, which is so strange. So that's my second thing. My third thing is missing L's. The name's Philip Lily. And, um, oh my God, what's the third one? Philip, Lily, and Michelle. Those always had two L's in them. Michelle always had two L's on the end of it. Philip always had two L's in the middle. And Lily always had two L's in the middle. And now, for whatever reason, it seems like everybody and their brother and their sister wants to spell all those names L I L Y, P H I L I P. M-I-C-H-E-L-E, -E, which is weird. I don't know if it's a Mandela effect, but it's very interesting nonetheless. I always liked the two L's. They always had a lilt to them. That was always fun. Um, and, oh, and then, oh, another thing that's weird is that, oh my gosh, so oh, the name Megan. I always remember Megan being spelled M-E-A-G-A-N. That motorcyclist agrees. He's a hell's angel. He's like, I remember Megan being spelled that way too. So anyway, Megan being spelled M-E-A-G-A-N or M-E-G-A-N. And now all of a sudden I'm seeing it spelled M-E-G-H-A-N or M-E-G-H-A-N-N, -N, which is doubly strange. Um, <clears throat> and the other thing that just happened, la pièce de résistance, was I was in the kitchen with one of my coworkers and he was cooking his lunch and it smelled really bad, like Parmesan cheese, which ugh, smells horrible to me. But anyway, he was cooking. I didn't tell him that, but he was cooking it and I go, hey, that's pretty cheesy. And he's like, yeah. And I mentioned Parmesan and he goes, like Phil Parmesan. And I'm like, Phil Parmesan? And then he remembered his Phil Parmesan, but no, it was Jean Parmesan from Arrested Development. It's like, Jean Parmesan. <laughs> And he's the only guy that the mom on that show gets excited about. It was played by Martin Mull. Hilarious. And then I started cracking up because you know that one person your mom always gets excited about? And you can't figure why she's excited to see that person. She's like, oh my god, hi, how are you? And you're like, oh my god, mom, you're making a scene and why are you so excited to see this person? So anyway, that was Jean Parmesan, but it wasn't Phil Parmesan. Speaking of Philip and the double L's, it wasn't Phil Parmesan, it was Jean Parmesan. <laughs> it's like your mom gets all excited to see a person. Oh my God, isn't he wonderful or isn't she wonderful? That's what I would have to deal with with all my mom's friends. She got all excited to see. And then she was hardly ever excited to see me in the morning. Like if my mom was ever that excited to see me, I would have flipped a bitch, but she wasn't. So my mom had all these weird friends she was always excited to see. And about three months later, she's not friends with them anymore anyway. <laughs> it's like Jean Parmesan! Unarrested development. Of course, I always loved how they drove the, um, the plane car stairs. Or the, what was it, the airplane stairs in their truck. That was the only thing they had left. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I probably better go. My lunch is almost through, but it was wonderful talking with you all, even if I'm mostly just talking to myself. And that's about it. And I will talk to you soon. Peace out, brothers.